Hi everybody, it's Alejandro Orellana from Chile, Santiago, winter, kind of. Uh, I would like to say thank you very much to Doa Doa and his 8th edition that invited to me to talk essentially about um, me, about uh, what we are doing, what I am doing uh, in my activity here in this corner of the world. Um, I started working in the music business around 1996 in jazz music. I lived in Italy for around uh, 27 years. And uh, then I moved to Chile around 12 years ago uh, and I started to work also in uh, world music. Essentially because in 2014 we had, with my partners, we had the idea to promote a, a WOMAT festival in Chile was the first one in South America and this made that uh, I started to, around 2012 I started to work more into the uh, world music uh, universe uh, and it was very interesting because uh, I started to know other kind of music I started to know other kind of regions of the world where, where there was uh, the world uh, there was a, a lot of very music very very beautiful music um, then after five years, six years with uh, of promoting Moment Festival, uh, unfortunately the festival is, has been cancelled by now. But because of the pandemic, we have to to uh, go back again on the road for next year. One of the main things, main uh, projects that uh, I started uh, around one year ago under pandemic was the Direct Music Collective and virtual market, which is a structure, a small structure, which is dedicated <coughs> mainly, sorry, mainly to uh, promote and to work around Latin American music and Latin American creators coming from jazz and from world music created in Latin America. And this is why in December we uh, realized a digital market called virtual market and after that, we created a catalog, a kind of database of uh, uh, Latin American music, which is available to everybody in the world. It's an open, free catalog. Uh, we have around 200 bands in the catalog, and this is growing up every day with new bands and new proposals from this part of the continent. And the last thing we did, uh, we realized uh, a direct Music Magazine, which is a digital magazine, magazine dedicated to jazz world music and other, another kind of also uh, styles and topics like culture and politics and social matters. Um, and this has been a very nice project that had a lot of success. We uh, just released the first number uh, one month ago, and now we are preparing the second one. Uh, the magazine will be available soon in English. I hope soon, I mean, kind of three or four months. Uh, and it's focalized mainly in uh, Latin American, this is our niche. But also we talk about uh, some international musicians and about uh, some international topics related with music business around the world. With talking with uh, some uh, interesting friends, uh, festival directors or market directors or agents or musicians coming from all around the world. In fact, uh, one of the main spots of uh, the virtual market and the collective, the collective uh, is dedicated to the Latin American and Chilean uh, um, original roots music. Uh, the importance of the original nations, the First Nations in Chile and, and Latin America, it's uh, in this moment, in the last, well, 15, 50 years, it's not, it's complicated because they don't have, uh, the root music doesn't have uh, any place to be performed or there is not much attention to that specific kind of culture. So, in WOMAT Chile Festival and in our activities as collective and as uh, 
digital market and as a magazine, we are trying to uh, focalize, focus also our in, uh, attention into this kind of uh, original music, roots music coming from some specific areas of the mostly of the from the south of Chile, from some uh, ethnical um, uh, currents like Mapuche music, uh, which is very interesting because uh, we have to look for it. It's not uh, easy sometimes to find it, but uh, luckily uh, there are some young musicians that are working on that side and we are trying always to be in touch with them. Uh, one of them, Ernesto Holman, is a, a Chilean bass player, uh, we can say a jazz musician, but he has focused, he has focused his own all work, musical work since around uh, 10 years into this kind of uh, ethnical source, Mapuche Indians from south of Chile. And is one of the most successful musicians that we are presenting all around the world. We have been in Toronto, we have been in Canada, we have been in Korea, we have been in Europe, we have been more or less all over uh, South America. So uh, this proof that uh, roots music or root source music is not just something for specialistic festivals, but also can arrive to a, a wider uh, public and a wider attention. And uh, also working on, on this world music world, business or universe, uh, we noticed as WOMED mostly that the presence of uh, uh, African music was almost uh, unknown. Okay. Uh, there are some big stars that are hanging around all over the world. Uh, but uh, I am sure, and we were, we were sure uh, five years ago, that there were other sources for African music, East African music or African music, generally speaking, that were totally unknown in this part of the world. Uh, in Chile and uh, in the south of South America, I mean Argentina, Chile, uh, there is not a big presence of African culture historically speaking. It's not the same situation as in Brazil, where there was a, well, there was a slavery, there was an immigration, forced immigration in the past centuries. But in Chile and Argentina, uh, that was very, very few, uh, a very, very small presence. So Africa is a kind of uh, very unknown place, a very unknown universe. Uh, we don't know much about it. Uh, and it's always seen as a para kind of uh, very mystery place and very mystery paradise, uh, natural paradise. Uh, and uh, this is what we are also doing uh, as festival and as a personal research, is trying to get connected with uh, that part of the world because it's immense, because there is a lot of things that are happening there, mostly in the last 10 years or 15 years. There's a, I know to us, market, this very big opportunities and good opportunities for business there. So we think, I think, that we should look to Africa in a very special way, mostly these days. So the invitation, the invitation is, is very simple, uh, it's very easy, it's just to uh, get connected with this part of the world, to make networks with this part of the world, what part of the world, and start building something, you start building the presence after this awful year of pandemic, start building bridges and start building the presence of uh, uh, Latin American music in Africa and African music in Latin America. There are festivals that can be interested. There are many ways to work uh, in both sides of the world with something that possibly possible is new to both sides. I mean, I don't think that, or maybe I can imagine that Latin American music, speaking from, talking about uh, um, Latin American music from Mexico to Chile, so it's a wide, very wide country, very wide region. I think there's not much present in Africa, generally speaking. And in the same way, the African culture, but 
exception for specific things uh, is very unknown here. So there is a very, very big space to work together. This is my, uh, my wish. This is what I would like to do. This is why we created the collective and we are going to do, uh, we are doing network, networking job with uh, uh, African structures. Uh, and we want to keep going on with that. We think that there is a very good opportunity because there is not much happening. I really, from my heart, I really would like to invite everybody uh, to come to Latin America, to listen to American music, to get connected with the structures that are working already here in Latin America, like us, like Direct Music Collective, uh, in order to understand and know better what is happening in this side of the world. And the same thing we would like to do, trying to dig inside as much as possible in the African culture and the African music. So the invitation is open to everybody that uh, wants to discover that uh, Latin American music is more than salsa, cha-cha-cha, and dancing you know, in the cry regions. There's a lot of things happening here. There is a whole universe of rhythms, a whole universe of harmonies, a whole universe of music and experimentation that uh, wants to go abroad, that wants to go out from Latin America, from this country, and uh, we need to make them now. The need, the, we need to make them uh, be more famous all around the world. And inviting you, inviting the whole African area to come to visit us, to come to listen our music, is the first step to uh, move into that direction. Uh, again, I really, really appreciate this invitation. I hope that uh, this edition will be very successful. And uh, the most, I mean, I really would like to go to Africa as soon as possible. I have been just in North Africa for markets and musical uh, meetings, but there is a whole world to discover there. And I hope that in the next year, I will be able to visit you. Thank you very much.